and she from the west side. What's up, beautiful people? Uh, what's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Jamaya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, you need to go back and find out. But your girl is a married woman now. And so, because I'm a married woman, y'all are getting all the nitty gritty in this post wedding vlog. Y'all, ah, like it was rough, but I'm happy. And y'all, like, y'all will realize, um, later in the video but this intro was like a little you know i just put this in there or whatever but anyways y'all we gonna get into all the stuff honeymoon wedding wedding planning what is life like after the wedding as we get ready to go on our honeymoon cruise so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the tea let's go ahead and get into this video <laughs> oh okay <laughs> okay anyways what's up y'all so we're back as you see we're literally back home it is two days after our wedding today is what's Mary, up y'all okay Jalen wants y'all to know that we're married um today is i can't remember what the day oh today is july 3rd um and right now we're just getting ready to head out grab some breakfast but y'all i'm like the wedding is over with um the wedding will definitely be remembered at some point i need to package like some wedding favors and stuff right now we're gonna go get some food honestly i'm so hungry i don't like i don't feel like doing anything but eating right now so with that being said no, you wanna shop we too? get oh yeah i want to shop too so that makes it okay let's let's go get started okay, i guess while we're in the car i can at least show y'all some of the wedding gifts i had so for Jalen's dad this is his gift it's just a little glass with a that says band father band. of the groom oh with a hair tie apparently inside because it's been in my bag father of the groom and then it has like our wedding date and then let me see what else we got here then this is for my dad i don't know if i showed this to y'all already it's a knife, a little pocket knife. It says "Father of the Bride." What? You wanted? I didn't know you wanted these like this. The wooden ones would have been fire. Okay, well I didn't know you wanted the wooden knives. Maybe you should have ordered them. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna tell them to give them back and I'll send them back. Aha! Uh -huh, you can't send them back. They're customized. And then the rest of the gifts are just like some necklaces but here's our here's our guest book y'all the guest book is so cute so for the guest book we were doing like a polaroid type guest book so when you open it got some polaroid pictures all around which i really really love like, i love that you know polaroid pictures and then obviously some people signed left some messages and i tried to put this picture here so people kind of knew like what to do like yeah put the picture here put the tape on the back and then you know paste it on the book but i don't think everybody got it so literally the day or after the wedding my sister went trying to do all the things and sis like was yeah yeah almost glued some of the pages together nonetheless everything came out like so cute the wedding was beautiful i'll try to attach some pictures um here um soon and maybe i'll hold this video off until the photographer sends me like the videos and stuff so i can add some videos um into the vlog as well but here y'all talk to Jalen. i gotta go check the mailbox all right <clears throat> what's up everybody it's your boy jay tuning in with another video um so today me and jenna are about to go out to eat at a place called city cafe and bakery um we're about to go shop for clothes um jenna i don't like going to ross but my dad put me on the Ross when I was a young child, so we about to go to Ross. We also about to go to Marshalls, and she likes going to Old Navy, <clears throat> so I suppose we're going to Old Navy as well. Um, that's about it. I'm about to play the game today. Um, sometimes she don't like when I play the game because I just be sitting around doing nothing. But playing the game is very therapeutic for me, and it's fun. Uh, so. Yeah, I like I like playing the game, especially when I don't have nothing else to do. So, yeah. How's everybody's weekend going? Y'all got any plans for July 4th? Comment. Oh my goodness. Comment what y'all are gonna do for July 4th. I'm not sure when Janai is posting this video, but whenever you see this, post what you did on July 4th. I think I'm just gonna be at the house with my family. Um, just kind of doing stuff. 
chilling and whatnot. But man, this past weekend has been so fun. Uh, we did some stuff on Thursday, Friday, and our wedding was on Saturday. But man, when I tell you, I didn't. I went to sleep after three o'clock almost every single night except Saturday. Um, well, actually, not at all. Yeah, except Saturday, I didn't go to sleep after three o'clock. But man, I was so tired. I got some good sleep. Um, I got some good sleep yesterday and. Wait, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. So yeah, I got some good sleep on Sunday. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely don't plan on doing that too much. But yeah, man, um, hopefully y'all have a <clears throat> blessed day. Don't forget to get in that Bible, man. Get you at least a verse a day. Um, you know, it's good for you. And maybe one day I'll, um, I'll come on here and talk about why reading the Bible is good for you and stuff. So, so yeah. Um, I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. So we just left the restaurant and now for the day, it is on our itinerary to head out. And we're going to be looking at some um, apartments. No, not apartments, houses. So right now, we're actually considering renting a house instead of renting an apartment. Obviously because of the prices, but also I guess we can get like a lot more space renting a house instead. So that's what we're about to do now. We're heading um just basically around looking at some. I have some that I did like that I saw on Zillow. So we're about to be looking at them today. And when I say looking, I mean we literally just gonna drive by, drive through neighborhood, like whatever, whatever. Um, because most of them aren't available like just yet for us to actually go in and like take a tour right right now. And fourth of July is coming up. So um a lot of people aren't even um right right now but that's what we get ready to do now so see y'all in a little bit what's up everybody happy 4th of july so right now i don't even remember where we left off with yesterday i don't even know but i think i'm just going to carry this vlog on as um until we're done packing and getting ready to head out for the honeymoon and luckily i do have like videos scheduled in the meantime so i won't feel too much like pressure to edit these videos and get them done really really fast but as of right now me and Jalen, here's Jalen. you know my man my man my man my man maybe maybe i can show him um a little more now since we're married what do you think that's up to you fam oh so you don't want to be on my youtube channel I'm already on it enough. I feel like I'm just a special guest. Uh, you feel like you're just feature. a special guest? Special guest. Yeah. And so you come out and people are like, woohoo! Like they used to do in <laughs> But uh, y'all know how the folks be saying private until permanent. Are we permanent? If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Yeah, talk to your vlog. Oh, okay. Anyways, so right now we are at Starbucks. We're getting ready to go in there and get some breakfast because Jalen wanted Chick fil A, but Chick fil A was actually closed in the morning. So we're going to get some Starbucks. And then we have a few like houses to um drive down to look at. We're driving about 30 minutes away. And these houses are going to be a little closer to Jalen's job. So hopefully, hopefully they look good. I'm a little nervous because like it's an area that I'm kind of like unfamiliar with. So I can't really say, oh yeah, no, this is not a good area. That's not a good area. We're just going to have to see. And I'm just going to have to eyeball it in. We just gonna have to see when we get down there. So I'm trying to stay open minded, but my stomach is also growling like crazy. So we finna go in here and get the Starbucks and we will see y'all when we finna go home, sir. Go away, kitty. There's a kitty under Jalen's car, guys. No, okay, cool. kitty. All right, come here, come here, come here. Bye, kitty. Oh, what are you Come here, come here, come here. Y'all, look at Jalen. Come here. Okay, y'all, we're in here touring a place right now, and we're not really, I'm talking to my camera. We're not really feeling this squint. It feels so weird, like, touring technically like somebody else's house, but, you know, really, I don't know. It's just, this one isn't really giving. I'm, I'm actually giving, it's actually giving a little scared, scary. But we have seen a few so far. We have t we have visited so many so far, and by far there has only been basically one that we both liked, but we weren't able to go inside today. Jalen in the people fridge and everything. But so we'll probably continue this like maybe tomorrow and go from there. Uh uh, this is spider web in the middle of the room. Mm. 
Move, bro, you're gonna get smushed. Okay, just close the door. Yeah, just close the door. It ain't gonna have a choice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. We were trying to come into the house and there was literally a frog on the freaking doorknob and I touched it with my hand. I literally touched it with my hand. That's the garage. Oh, sorry. I'm just, yeah. Washer and dryer. Laundry room, I mean. What's this? Closet. Oh, okay. That's the backyard. First time. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, this is a pretty bathroom. This is a cute bathroom. This is the Decent sized closet. Oh, two sinks now. I know, right? Don't don't say it like that. I'm a little onions. Sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so Jalen, tell us what do you um, think about this process today? It's very, it can be very strenuous. And I think what helps is if you have like a set criteria, you have like a set criteria of stuff that you're looking for. So you can just narrow down the searches and whatnot <clears throat> and be willing to compromise on stuff like we talked about yesterday. So, yeah. Oh wait, what was the question again? I asked how you felt about kind of just going around tours today and you just... My bad. I, I mean, that was a good answer. So basically, um, what we did was yesterday we looked at some and essentially what we were doing the first time was we liked a whole bunch of Monzillo, drove around, looked at all of Monzillo and we were just kind of like going in kind of blind. So after that, what we did was we went home search for about a good hour and then we um oh excuse me and then what did we do i can't even remember oh yeah and then we searched for about a good hour and we kind of planned out like okay what what houses have fences like yada 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 Hold on, let me change my camera settings but yeah we kind of just went through like we literally like made a little check off list like has garage has fence has this yes or no and kind of just went from there um as we were looking and the biggest kind of thing for us has just been we have found cute ones online that are very cute on the pictures but then when we drive to the house and see what it's looking like now or drive through the neighborhood it just don't be given what it gave on the internet so that's kind of what we're doing right now and then we also have some where it's like we're able to tour them the day of so that has been um pretty good as well so yeah oh check <laughs> this one is a lot bigger this is my uh, uh, my grandma house or my grandma old house Some fruit. Boy, it's hot. Cool. Toilet. Closet. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh, it must have two big. That's what I'm saying. Both these yeah. bedrooms are pretty big. Password is no password. Smells like cigarettes. One, one bathroom, cute. Second bathroom, I mean second bedroom. And let's go find the main. This is the main. Only one sink. Nice. How does that make you feel? Okay, we fixed it. But anyways, y'all, we are done like searching for the day. Um, now we're just getting ready to head to Jalen's parents' house for some Fourth of July festivities. I don't think we're gonna see any fireworks tonight because 
they're just you know you can go to the fireworks but anyways blame my dog oh yeah Jalen's dog is scared of fireworks that's why but anyways probably tomorrow we're gonna have to clean this apartment up because as you can see we still have all of like our floral pieces from the apartment and stuff i mean from the wedding and stuff um and i want to do something with these ferns because they're so cute but i may have to just put them outside for the time being because we literally don't get like enough sunlight in this house to keep them alive off vitamin d alone so i think if you do that there's gonna be bugs all over no, I don't think it'll be that bad, but we'll put it out and figure out. What's up, y'all? So, today is Thursday, and we are still on the move, as you can see. We're still apartment slash house hunting, um, as well as getting ready to go on this honeymoon trip. So, yesterday, we did some driving around. We were basically driving around for almost, like, five hours, looking at different properties, as well as, like, looking at the apartments and stuff around that area, and we ended up seeing about, like, two that we did like but um yeah and so we saw one that we did end up applying for but then we realized after we applied that we were kind of like slow because we applied for a property um well we applied for an apartment that was going to be available in july and our lease won't be up until september like mid-september which means that we probably would have wasted like two months well we basically would have wasted two months of like paid rent which isn't really that smart mm -hmm. so when i went back to go look at it i did see that this same apartment complex had a unit coming available in september but for some reason when i like click on the unit um it goes away like it says it's not found so hopefully that's just some type of like mistake or whatever and we're gonna go in here to this apartment talk to these people and hopefully they do actually have that september unit available and we can just move like all of the fees and stuff that we've paid on this current apartment to now this september apartment and then i guess just go from there so that's what we're headed to do right now um it's only 10 in the morning but i'm just like i'm just ready to be so done like with this moving in process like it's really just irritating me because i felt peace like i was just you know i felt peace last night when i thought we had a place and then as soon as we didn't have a, and then as soon as we didn't have that place anymore pew. so now i'm just ready to have a place again and just not have anything to worry about so with that being said we're currently headed to said place and we gonna talk to the people shake them up a little bit flip a couple tables and go from there Jalen do you have anything that you would like to say um no no mm -hmm. all right so I will update y'all when we leave okay, y'all so good news so we were able to get the date moved for our apartment and get it moved to a time that works better for us um and it's also going to be a completely different unit um but yeah we were able to get it worked out and i'm honestly so happy because i feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because i was like oh my gosh if i have to go look at another house if i gotta go tour another complex i was just gonna be uh and then i'm happy because these apartments like i have not seen um any apartments for that price with as much square footage as this apartment has so this apartment is three bed two bath um three bed two bath 1400 something square feet which at the price point we looking at and at this area that we're looking at is pretty dang good so i was happy that we were able to kind of get that secure they did say um <laughs> that man looked like he i don't know he was just tripping for a second but they did say that the apartment that we are looking at moving into does need a little work plus it's also being um plus someone's also living in there right now so we have to wait until those people move out plus they have to go in and kind of renovate everything because that apartment has not been renovated yet and so once they do that it should be ready now the only thing is since we were able to get it moved a little closer to our um date i'm kind of contemplating unless they get back to us like with an exact date we may have to stay on our lease right now and just kind of continue on like a month-to-month -month basis which may cause us to have to pay for like an extra month because um there is a high possibility that if that apartment is not ready like right on time yeah so if it's not ready right on time which will be like at the end of september that 
we could you know just be stuck like not stuck but for example essentially what happens is if your lease is up and you're not moved out by your lease you have to move out by the time your lease is over and so basically if your new apartment ain't over by the time ain't ready by the time your lease is over you're gonna be homeless so not that we'll be homeless for a couple of days but it would just force us to kind of have to you know leave some stuff in the truck just no so with that being said right now i'm just thinking that we may have to continue and just add an extra month onto our lease pay for an extra month um and then just kind of go from there so that way at least if they need some extra time we actually have extra time versus them needing extra time and our stuff is living in a u-haul yeah. So that's everything <clears throat> that I got so far. I still have not found the C band, so I'm still looking for those. And I found some cute toe bags and some cute matching sets. I'll show y'all when we get home, but I'm excited. I found them, y'all. Time to go. Okay, y'all so just left five below i had to grab um jaylen some little little car vent magnet thing for his car because his broke but y'all oh my gosh like i know people say during the summertime that's when we're supposed to be outside and stuff but girl it's hot like it's really hot at this point my phone i mean my car says it's 94 degrees how hot is it outside let's see how hot is it right now the phone say it's 91 car say is 94 but let's look at the heat index because see the temperature and the heat index are completely different so the heat index is how it feels like what it feels like and then the heat uh whatever whatever it is what it is yeah sorry i just lost my train of thought i'm so hot but the heat index says it feels like 97 degrees so yes it is hot and at this point in the game i feel like i'm doing anything i can to just not have to get out of the car so right now i'm about to have the chicken salad chick because i want to get me a little chicken salad sandwich and i got some yesterday but Jalen left my food in the car so i don't want to eat it because i don't want my stomach to start hurting but yeah i'm gonna give me a chicken salad then i'm about to head back home and okay yeah. update y'all so um it's currently five days post wedding and y'all when i tell y'all like the wedding was good the wedding it was it was a wedding that's what i can say i had a great time i feel like everybody looked amazing and that just like was the icing on the cake for me um as of right now i'm waiting for the photographers to send back pictures and videos i've already received like pictures and videos like from friends and family but i'm waiting on them because they got the good stuff obviously by the time y'all see this video y'all would have already seen some of like the video footage or whatever from the event but y'all it was so beautiful i can't believe it so if you made it this far you are a real one thank you so much for just sticking it through this wedding vlog Thank you so much for sticking it through this whole wedding planning process with me because y'all better than anybody knows how hectic it has been for me. And I'm honestly, I'm happy it's over. Like people kept asking me like day after day after day after day, are you gonna cry? Are you nervous? Are you this? Are you that? What do you look forward to? I tell you, other than walking down the aisle, I look forward to seeing how the event itself like just came out, especially being that me being a novice, being a newbie at planning, a newbie at planning anything, y'all i drew out the table layout on my ipad so with that being said for me it's really just like just seeing how the event came out just kind of took all of my nerves that i possibly could have had about this day away and not gonna lie i look forward to planning another event i just do i don't know what i'm gonna plan i don't know what the event is gonna be but this time now that i know that i can do it and I have a little more faith in my um, 
abilities i look forward to planning something else so whatever that may be i don't know and you know what else i also look forward to i personally feel like i have made a dang good portfolio for myself and why i should be anybody's maid of honor or at this point matron of honor okay y'all mm, mm. i think i needed that i think i need me some oh I think I need to be some food real quick. So I just finished my chicken salad chick over here. Devoured is gone. I promise you it's empty. It's gone. But I, I tore the pickle up and everything and I don't even like pickles. But anyways, that was good. And I ate my food right in the car. I actually like eating the car. I don't know why, but like a lot of times I prefer to eat in the car, but I really didn't want to go into chicken salad chick because for some reason it stank up in there like and it's not like sewage type stink i don't know i think it's probably just like chicken i don't know it probably is it probably is just chicken but it stink but real quick i actually have been meaning to go get like some room sprays from bath and body work and i feel like i had a coupon around here somewhere but i don't know exactly where it would be so i'm gonna look around for this coupon and then we're gonna go to bath and body works because i want to give me some room sprays the girl um my classmate who braided my hair she actually she told me oh i still got this gift card in here too i'm gonna use it i should have nah i'm gonna use it she told me that she don't like she doesn't like a thousand wishes and i was looking like how could you not like a thousand wishes and if you don't know a thousand wishes is a bath and body works scent but i'm just looking like how could you not like a thousand wishes and so she just gave me her a thousand wishes um room spray now one of my favorites i think my main favorite is like champagne toast Jalen also really likes champagne toast um what else I feel like I kind of get tired of like the eucalyptus scents and stuff like that. But then I also don't be wanting to smell like the sweet stuff like Japanese cherry blossom and stuff like that. So I think when I go, I'm going to get champagne toast and I'll probably get like some other clean scents. Like, you know, the clean linen. I'll probably get some of those too. this is the first set that i got from target it's cute it's giving right now y'all are literally resting on Jalen's legs so he's been my tripod right now ignore the mess in the background but yeah it's kept <laughs> here's the green oh give me my green shorts so here's the green you like the green Oh, uh, yeah. You rocking with the green? I like the green better. Uh, I, I heard know. on the internet that green was my color, so let me go look in the mirror. I feel like I have this on backwards. This girl think every color is her color. No, I don't. You need to wear some red or some blue Ooh. or something. No, because like green, the green and the pink, they really make my skin pop. That's why I say that, like, they're my colors because those are what make my skin pop. So then... I feel like you're on the internet telling you the green is your color. The color, the colors test, my colors, my colors. All right, so then here are the green shorts. What do you think? Those match a little bit better. I think that's cute. That's a cute. You outfit. think it's cute? So when yeah. should I wear this one? You already have some of those. I don't think I do. Well, I promise you, you do. I don't. I probably do. Unless you do. Unless oh. You just got rid of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I mean they're slightly different. But yeah, I have like the Adidas version of these. But yeah, I just got these just in case. And then for our beach days. Or like just perusing around the cruise. I got this cute green bag. Look. And so just in case, you know, I had to do a plan B just in case Jalen didn't like it. Or he huh. or he refused for some reason to carry it around. So I got this little tiny book bag just in case. There we go. Why, why don't we, why don't we, oh, what the heck? Why wouldn't we just get a regular book bag to carry stuff around? Um, I don't know. Well, because see, the regular book bag, I thought this was simple because of the way like the fabric where it's like meant to be like on a beach. Whereas in regular book bags... They kind of hold sand and stuff, and so I was just like, eh. Well, let's get some sand get done. Okay, so, let me dump this bag out. And I got all of these off of the little, you know, the small aisle on Target. Y'all know the one with all the little small travel stuff, so the little travel aisle. So, first things first, I'm just going to put them in my bag for now, so that way when we finally pack tomorrow, because neither one of us have packed, um, it'll already be in a bag for us to separate. What? 
So you don't know what I have and haven't. Though. You ain't packed. Oh, and then I also got these cute lip glasses, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to try these. So first thing I got some to go Clorox wipes disinfectant for us to wipe stuff down if we need to. Oh, let me. I got some Lysol sprays, and these are under. These are one and a half ounces, so we should be able to take these on the plane because they're not over three ounces. But I got these as well, just some little Lysol. Maybe if one of us is in the bathroom stinking the place up, we can just spray it. Then I got us these little mouthwashes. Because, y'all, it has been a minute since I've been on a cruise. But I can't remember what they do and don't have, like, on the cruise ships. So I was just like, okay, let's be cool. So got the mouthwash. Then I also got us little two separate things of toothpaste. I don't know why, but just because. Then I also got us two separate things of hand sanitizer. And this is going to be for the plane as well as, you know, just throughout the cruise. Then I also got us, this is a two pack of C bands. These are nausea relief bands. All you do is put them on your arm, let them sit, and you can wear them as long as you want to. And they're also reusable. I used these when I went on my first cruise, even though I didn't really need them. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know because me and Maya, like my sister, we had them on the entire time. So it's kind of like, even if I did need them, I already had it on. So I really don't know if I didn't need them because I already had it on. Or if I didn't need them, because I didn't need them. But regardless, this is Jalen's first cruise. And I don't know if y'all remember, but from my uh from my birthday vlog, or was it my birthday? Mm -hmm. Well, when we when we went to Las Vegas, that was me and Jalen's first time being on a plane together. And girl, his nose started bleeding and everything. That was my nose, though. I've had nose. I know, but I was still like, you good, bro? It felt like taking somebody else's kid out of town. That's how I felt. Yeah, because I'm like, oh my gosh. Nice. Yeah. Anyways, so I got us some C-bands. Y'all, we're back on the last day of this vlog. And, oh, okay, girl, I hear you. And I'm having a lash emergency because I was supposed to get my lashes filled in today. But my lash tech um, is waiting on a glue delivery. And the glue just ain't delivered. The glue just has not arrived. And my appointment was supposed to be 12. It's currently going on like 4 o'clock. And I leave at 4 a.m. tomorrow. And I can't be out here looking like this. So I done went online, booked an appointment at this local like lash bar. And we finna go in. And I'm honestly kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. But yeah, I guess I'll update y'all and let y'all know what's going on. But I'm afraid. I'm scared. Look at the lashes. Ooh. Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm literally pulling up right at like four o'clock on the dot. So I'll see y'all when I get out. I'm actually very, very scared, but we gonna see. Just made it back to the house. This is the lash update. Listen, it's enough. It is enough. But let me show y'all the packing progress because I'm actually about to redo my hair. Yes. So here is the packing progress. It literally looks a mess in here. I don't even know where the remote is. This should be uh, right um, on the edge, edge of that couch. Yeah, so here's the pack in progress. It looks a mess. But basically, me and Jalen, we decided to just use the same suitcase because I have like a really, really big suitcase that I knew for sure could fit both of um the both of our items or whatever and we're going five days but honestly i feel like when you go on a cruise or going like on a beach you really don't even need that much like for five days for real so so far it doesn't even seem like we have that many items but right now i am about to yeah i'm gonna do it i'm about to rebraid my hair because i just feel like while it is cute um it's not exactly what i wanted and i'll kind of give y'all a better look before I, I redo it but not only is it not really exactly what i wanted i just also feel like um i wanted them like longer and thicker and you're probably thinking girl why didn't you say that here's the thing about me and y'all should already know this better than anybody else out here in these streets is that when it comes to me okay 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 it's a lot going on give us a sec oh goodness gracious I'm just 
get out the way, please. Okay. Okay. But yeah, when it comes to me and doing my hair, because y'all know I rarely actually go and get my hair done. Um, it takes me at least, it takes me at least 24 hours to kind of get acquainted with whatever the style is. And by acquainted, I basically mean just to simply like whatever the style is and kind of be sure that, oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. And so I will say I definitely did like it when I got it. And I still think it's cute now. It's just not necessarily what I was going for for this trip. I was kind of going for something um, longer and thicker, which I have done before on my page. But at the time, it was just so much going on. I just didn't feel like doing it myself. And maybe that's on me. Maybe I should have just did it myself. So, yeah, I'm about to redo my braids. But at this point, it shouldn't take me long because I'm literally going to go braid by braid. But it's about time to go ahead and start the honeymoon vlog itself so that is all for this video y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in this video has kind of been hectic if not obviously mentally but we're making it through and i will be on a boat tomorrow i'm gonna be on that boat i'm gonna be on that boat daddy drew you like that beautiful black child come and shed your black cloud for your vibe and your smile i don't mind a little rain i'm your dog is perk up at the sign of your name